Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I ask the question, which cable operating temperature should I use, 70 or 90 degrees? To explain this I'm going to talk about SWA cable. Have you ever noticed that there are tables for 70 degree SWA cable and 90 degree SWA cable in Appendix 4 of BS7671? But when you buy SWA cable it's always rated at 90 degrees. In fact, if you look at table 4A3 in Appendix 4, which lists the specifications for the cables and the current rating tables, it says that the British standard for 70 degree armoured cables is withdrawn and is retained there for historic purposes. So in other words, 70 degrees SWA cable is not even manufactured anymore. So why do we have a table for 70 degree SWA cable? I will explain why in this video. Table 4D4A is for 70 degree multi-core armoured cable and Table 4E4A is for 90 degree multi-core armoured cable. If we compare the two tables, we can see that cables rated at 90 degrees can carry more current. This is because they can work at a higher temperature. For example, a 2-core 2.5mm 70 degree SWA cable clip direct can take a maximum of 28 amps according to Table 4D4A and a two core 2.5mm 90 degree SWA cable clip direct can take 36 amps according to table 4E4A. So this makes a big difference to the current carrying capacity of the cable. And you may be thinking that by using a 90 degree cable, you can select a cable with a smaller CSA. The problem is that in order to use the 90 degree cable, we must first make sure that the equipment being supplied is also rated at 90 degrees and the cable is not grouped with any other cables that are rated at less than 90 degrees. If the equipment being supplied is not rated at 90 degrees, we can still use the 90 degree cable of course, but what we need to do is to size the cable from the table for 70 degree SWI cable, which will mean that we select a slightly larger size cable, which means that the cable will operate at 70 degrees rather than 90 degrees. So in other words, we have a 90 degree cable that is working at an operating temperature of 70 degrees C. The reason is explained in BS7671 regulation 512.1.5, which relates to compatibility and states that switchgear, protective devices, accessories, or equipment shall not be connected to conductors intended to operate at temperatures exceeding 70 degrees unless the equipment manufacturer has confirmed that the equipment is suitable for such conditions or the conductor size shall be chosen on the ratings for 70 degree cables of a similar construction. This is also important when carrying out the adiabatic equation to verify that the cable is capable of withstanding the fault current and the short circuit current. You will notice that there are K values for 70 and 90 degrees, so it's important to bear this in mind. And if you use a 90 degree cable, that's intended to operate at 70 degrees, I would use the K values for 70 degrees. I talk about the adiabatic equation in more detail in other videos on my channel, and I'll put a link at the top of the screen. So the thing to bear in mind is that the operating temperature makes a big difference when selecting the correct cable. I also recommend reading the IT's guidance note one, which has tables for armored cable operating at different temperatures. If you found this and any of my other videos useful, Please subscribe and click on the notification bell to hear about future videos.